Maya, Tracy from Macken House. Today we're unboxing a Sage Bambino Plus, which is um, espresso coffee machine. So uh, yeah, it is, let me show you. The Bambino Plus. And look what I've got. <laughs> Mm. We made this. I've just been in the kitchen, unboxed and made two cups of coffee. The first one was not very successful, but it's me. What do you expect? <laughs> but the second one, perfect. <laughs> so let's get into it. <laughs> let's get this box undone. I assume this is to scrape off the top of the puck, off of the coffee puck. Let's quickly open it. Yeah, they call it the razor. <laughs> Let's, that. Can you see that? Let me make sure you can see that. Yeah, very close. We call that the razor. More package too. Let's throw those boxes out. I'm going to just put that there. What's in this one? This is. Looks like the filter. Yup, this is the filter. So I'll we'll keep that in there at the moment. Put that down. What have we got? To make the coffee packs. Does that come out? <laughs> Not with these little hands, it don't. Okay. <laughs> Try that later. What's that? Is that the tank? Yeah, because that fits. Different size cup. Okay. Oh. Uh, looks like we've got a tip her in. Got a tip her in out. Let's put it upside down. And take a tip. It 
is indeed the milk bag. That's heavy. <laughs> What's that? Oh, oh. Take all these bits out. <laughs> it's gone. It's a lot of bits in this one little jug. That's quite a heavy little jug, you know. So we've got in that jug, there it is. Like a little rubber grommet. There is like two different size puck makers, which is weird because there's already one there. Fine. And then we've got well, the scaler. And uh, a booklet, I assume, to tell you how to use the cleaner. Yeah. <sighs> what is this? This is a clean as well. So these look like little tablets for cleaning the machine. Keep that. She's nice and shiny. It's a lot bigger than I expected. That's good. Got the UK flag. Take that cover off. And here we've got the sticky holding the tank in place for transportation. See your milk. <laughs> Got to work out how to fit it in place now, haven't I? <laughs> oh, did it? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I like it. when we switch it on and give it a go. Right, so that's it unpacked. You can see all the bits that we've unpacked here out of the boxes. These are all empty boxes now. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a clean. I'm assuming it's gonna tell us to run some water through it a couple of times. And then I'll come back and we'll make a cup of coffee. Okay, let's make a coffee. It's all been cleaned. Let's try it. 
want a scoop. Let's tamp it. Tamp, tamp. <laughs> Yeah, might be a bit low actually, but we'll try it. We'll see what happens. I've put my normal amount of coffee in. We'll see. Okay. Let's go push the two cup. It's a bit meek to me. Okay. Give that a go, eh? Um, I'm not sure how to do the milk yet. <laughs> Let's try it. I'm assuming it's there's a button that's got a jug on it. <laughs> There's one with a temperature, and there's one with a steam. Uh -huh. There we go. Isn't it? I don't think I've done enough coffee. <laughs> Let's try it. Hey, it tastes all right. I think that just needs more coffee. Hmm. Let's try that again with more coffee. But look, it looks like milk, doesn't it? <laughs> but actually, it tastes pretty good. This gets all clogged up, so I need to work out how to clean this. I know there's this thing. I'm not sure how that cleans. Because obviously with this one sort of sticks in milk all the time, doesn't it? Ah, put the one down, look. It cleans itself into the tray. Which is good that it cleans the wand, but don't forget to empty the tray because that'll overfill really quickly. <laughs> okay. So there we have it. Even though, I mean, that made it nice and hot, the milk. And even though I've made my coffee really rather weak, it's... Yum, like that, <laughs> thumbs up to this. Right, I'm going to make another cup. Okay, we're going to make a stronger coffee this time. <laughs> Don't go so tight on the coffee trays. <laughs> right, you've got to uh, fill this, whereas I only use one scoop. Um, should be enough. Let's do that. That is like nearly filled, isn't it? Let's 
try that. And put them in. There we go. That under there. Push the two button. My cat is really big. It's really making that espresso shot look little, isn't it? <laughs> Push the steam. If you don't get it off straight away, because the wand is hot, the milk sort of sets on the outside. So give that a quick lick down first and then push the spout down. And then it empties out the spout. So there's my shot of espresso. Okay, what do you think this time? <laughs> It's slightly better, isn't it? Cheers! Let's have a taste. Oh, that is good. That is good. I'm impressed. What an easy little machine to use. Then you got to take out... Oh. Yeah, you do need a cloth <laughs> everywhere. Then you take out the coffee grounds. Give it a rinse. Don't forget to empty this because obviously that is going to fill up pretty quick. I'm loving it. Loving it. Woohoo. Looks like I need another coffee. <laughs> what a great little machine. And I tell you what made it really easier as well is they get you to download this little app using the QR code here called Built. And you put the product in it that you've purchased, like the Sage Bambino Plus in, and you can click in the app to say, um, unboxing, what tools comes with the product, and like using your, making your first coffee through it. And that little app is, is really good. It, I didn't even touch the book. <laughs> A lot of people don't like the manuals, do they? So an app, that answered all of that. <laughs> that app, definitely worth getting. Definitely get the app. So, another product finished with. I'm going to go and put it in place and make myself another cup of coffee because I thought that that little Bambino Plus coffee espresso machine, yeah, I, I thumbs up. I really liked it. So, until the next time, 